Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrik. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Decree 107 of the year 2021, approving the Kingdom's accession to the Framework Agreement on the Establishment of the International Solar Alliance ISA Framework. The ISA Framework was opened for signature during the COP22 at Marrakesh on November 15th of 2016, amended on October 3rd of 2018, and came into force on January 8th, 2021. The His Royal Highness uh, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa today issued a circular regarding the public ho holiday of the anniversary of Prophet Muhammad's birthday, uh, peace be upon him. According to the circular, the Kingdom's ministries, state departments and public institutions will be closed on Monday the 18th of October 2021. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, expresses appreciation for the efforts exerted by the players of the Spanish team Cordoba and their keenness on achieving the best results. His Highness praised the team's victory over Tormelinos with a 2 to 1 in the Spanish Federation Cup and his qualifications to the quarterfinals. His Highness Sheikh Nasser stressed that the Cordoba team achieved distinguished results and became the focus of attention, especially in the scoring aspect, noting his encourages the team uh, to continue making achievements in the upcoming matches. He added that the team is moving steadily towards achieving its goals, wishing it success. The Southern Governor Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa laid the foundation stone of Al Bir Center for Senior Female Citizens, which is being established in cooperation with the Ministry of Labor and Social Development with the contribution of Al Nur Charity Welfare. Governor Al Khalifa praised the effective role of Al Nur Charity and the services it provides to senior citizens. He affirmed that the supervision of public services and communication with citizens and civil society institutions are both based on the principles of community partnership, which stems from the directives of His Majesty the King and the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. He noted that the establishment of a care center will provide valuable social and humanitarian services. The President of Al-Nur Charity Welfare praises the role of the Southern Government in consolidating community partnerships and solidarity with civil society institutions. For his part, the Chairman of the Sunni Endowments Council affirmed the importance of such vital social initiatives. The Minister of Education, Dr. Majid Naimi, inaugurated the educational panel exhibition at Sakhir at Sheikh Abdullah bin Isa Al Khalifa Technical Secondary Boys School. The minister hailed the exhibition's creative idea, which is a stimulation of the ministry's educational portal section using realistic pillars and models created by students and teachers. And Naimi affirmed that this digital portal is a link between all parties of the educational system in schools and the ministry, noting that the number of visits to the portal has increased to over 10 million 100,000 visits since the beginning of the current academic year. He also noted that digital education is an essential part of the educational system in Bahrain schools. The minister toured the exhibition and then honored a number of the school's teachers who activated the educational portal. Al Naimi also received a commemorative gift created by the school's carpentry department. The General Directorate of Traffic affirmed that the legal procedures concerning traffic violations, including speeding, continue to remain in application since the launch of the new traffic law in February of 2015. The General Directorate of the Traffic affirmed the importance of committing to traffic laws, which reflects positively on the flow of traffic and the number of accidents, injuries and deaths. The Director General of Traffic, Sir Brigadier Sheikh Abdurrahman bin Abduhab Al Khalifa, asserted that the legal procedures regarding traffic violations including crossing the speed limits, remained the same since the endorsement of latest traffic law introduced in February 2015. The Director General explained that setting speed limits on roads is based on many considerations, mainly protecting lives and achieving traffic safety. The General Directorate of Traffic calls upon the road users to follow traffic laws and to follow the road speed limits, highlighting that adhering to the traffic rules has contributed to the reduction of traffic injuries and fatalities by 60% until the year 2020. 
Following approval by the Government Executive Committee, the National Medical Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus announced an update to testing and quarantine procedures for trace contacts of active COVID-19 cases effective Friday, the 15th of October, 2021. Individuals who do not hold a green shield must quarantine for seven days rather than the previously announced 10-day period, with the mandatory PCR test to be taken at the beginning of the quarantine period and on the seventh day after contact to end their quarantine. Vaccinated or recovered individuals with a green shield who have come into contact with an active COVID-19 case are no longer required to quarantine. However, they must take a PCR test on the first and seventh day after contact. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 1,169,744 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 1,131,303 had taken the second, and 383,218 had taken the booster dose. The Ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 621 with 64 recoveries, 59 registered new cases and no deaths. 14 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 41 are contacts of active cases and 4 are travel related. The Ministry urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for combating the coronavirus.